17 empty caskets were marched through the streets of Ethiopia's capital today as thousands came to mourn the country's victims of the Ethiopian Airlines plane crash. As friends and families grieved, clues have started to emerge into what caused the Boeing 737 MAX 8 to fall from the sky. Ethiopia's transport minister said today, flight data so far shows similarities to the Indonesian Lion Air disaster involving the same Boeing jet in late October. Both planes were new. Both crashed within minutes after takeoff. Both pilots had reported problems, and both left no survivors. The country's transport minister said the black box is in good condition, and the Ethiopian government intends to release detailed findings within one month. In Paris, France's Air Accident Investigation Agency said data from the cockpit voice recorder had been successfully downloaded. Now, the agency said it had not listened to those audio files, and they had been sent to Ethiopian investigators. Now, both the FAA and the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board will assist in validating that data. <laughs> Today's mass funeral comes one day after officials began delivering bags of charred earth to bereaved families for them to bury in place of their loved ones. It's a deep disappointment for some relatives grappled with grief who say they would only get full closure once at least some body parts are recovered. It's expected DNA testing of the bodies may take up to six months. In the meantime, families are left to gather at the crash site outside Ethiopia's capital. My heart feels a little bit much better. And the fact that we've been allowed today to access the crash site really gets me a lot of peace, yeah? At least I've been, I've been able to see where my, my sister had her last moments in life. 157 passengers from more than 30 countries were on board the fatal flight, including 18 Canadians. It's too soon to know if the tragedy was caused by a failure in the aircraft, but Canada and many other countries have grounded the MAX 8 over safety concerns.